Greetings and pretty little brothers and welcome back. So, uh, last time my game just totally started to decay and die and you guys reminded me that having too many saves uh, is bad for it and maybe there's a little OCD or something, but I like to have a lot of saves I can go back to, you know, just in case. But um, I deleted most of them, so here we are. Ooh, ooh, living, living dangerously, three saves left. So, um, I did the honors of walking across the map towards the sunstone. And I know you guys said there was that um, little bank where there was where there were the torches and I forgot there's that quest where we can build up that place into a harbor. That's why it looks like that um, over here at Fort Frostmoth if I talk to one of, the, one of the Imperials. But I feel like we've done so much hopping around in the Imperial Fort trying to find a soldier. Um, that I, I kind of want to stick with the, we're on the Avar grind right now and I want to kind of stick with that. I'm really close to the Sunstone as you can see. Um, I didn't, it was really uneventful. I didn't kill any, except for these wolves, I didn't really kill anyone. So you didn't miss a thing. Okay, and it should be around here somewhere. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the Sunstone. So maybe it's not out, maybe it's a little scared. Sunstone can get timid. There's so many of these spire rocks in this area. It's, it's, it feels like the game's mocking you for looking for the stone. It's a pretty area though. Very lush. Okay, and I killed this guy, okay? And I killed this Sprigner too. Okay, I'm just a big fat liar, all right? It was the most riveting gameplay you've ever seen. You missed out on it. And this wolf as well. <laughs> I killed everyone and you guys missed out. Um, but the game, the game is, in all seriousness, the game is running a lot smoother now that I say it, it's, it's over with. But, um, let me just kill this guy, maybe it'll be a bit better. Yeah, I think I mentioned it in the beginning, but I wanted to play it on Xbox 360 because that's how I would have played it as a kid. But now I'm, um, definitely regretting that. I'm realizing that was a huge mistake. I should have just done it on the Epic Gamer PC that the fans were kind enough to supply me with. Thank you so much. Um, and you know what? I'm out here, let's just get some XP. Whoa, he's flipping, he's flapping. The bears are so sad, they look so scary and they do that move when they get up on their two legs and it looks like they're gonna destroy you, but they're really not that strong. This thing should tear me apart, you know? But it just nibbles me and then it falls over. Um, okay, sunstone, sunstone. I know it's right here somewhere. I hope it's not. Now, the, the, the terror is that uh, I realize some assets will just not load. So I, uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell, like, <laughs> you know, if I'm not finding it or if it's just literally not in the game right now. But when I loaded back in, the, the uh, Earthstone was there. So, okay, Sunstone right on the side of the uh, trail there. I didn't really notice any trails yet. I haven't seen any trails. So let's see if I can find one and kind of walk up and down it. Yes, trail, yeah? No, no, not really. Where is there a trail? It seems like it's right in the middle, but definitely not there. But yes, after this, after the stones, I think I will go back and um, build up that fort. I always like the idea of creating things like that. So I love that that part of Fallout 4 where you can build up the cities. That's so much fun. I know some people don't really like that game, but I I spent way too long making cities made of garbage. And I'm sure many other gamers have as well. Fond memories of trash cities, which is why I'm really excited for the new Elder Scrolls. I hope they implement that as well. You can make your own medieval town. Come on, that's so cool. There's nothing better than that. And then defend it. Very cool. Um, I, oh man, guys, is it right? Oh, I feel like this is a central area, important area. There's a location there. I know there's a cave. I saw the cave. Here's the cave. It's Himmel, Himmelhost Bor Borough. Um, but gosh darn, where is that sunstone? I still haven't really seen a, a trail. 
It's hard to tell what the trail is supposed to be in all this mess. You know, the snow and everything. Um, and I am sorry about the <laughs> that last episode. The, the sound is not working. Some people were saying it's, yeah, I mean, when I, when I played back the video on my, with my headphones on the PC, I, I heard it fine. It didn't sound good. I'm still not convinced that's the way it's supposed to sound, unless maybe it is. It's those low pitched farts. But um, yeah, I wasn't hearing that at all on my, my TV, because I don't think it was, it's just like an Alexa, Amazon Fire Stick TV. And I just, I'm have like, I use the onboard sound. I didn't think I was gonna need a surround sound HD experience to play Morrowind, but that's, yeah, my mistake. Oh gosh, I'm back here again. I feel like, mm, mm. sunstone, sunstone. Maybe I will, I don't wanna look it up, but also I, this is not that exciting. Oh yeah, see, I keep seeing these spiky things and I'm like, oh, is it the sunstone? Could it be? What's that over there? I just, I know this is not, it's the wrong direction, I think, but I want to see. This is kind of a cool structure here. Little doggy, hello. Frossel main Barrow, Bora, whatever. Whoa. Hello. Oh, no. I was just saying, I think the game is getting a little, little bit better. Oh, no. Well, this is a good vantage point to see the location of the sunstone. <laughs> what is that over there? Is that a, it's a horker? <laughs> the real... <laughs> Holy crap. Wow, he's having a great time. There's another one over there. Wow. The real challenge here, guys, is beating the game before the game beats me before the game is totally... Okay, that... If I walk over there, will it bring me back up again? Yes, okay, that's... Whoa. That's... At least I can fall back down. Yeah, beating this thing before it, it, we lose all sense of reality is the real... gonna be the real trick. <laughs> all right, it's nighttime, I'm looking for the sunstone. It's cloudy out, I'm looking for the sunstone. I need the sun out while I'm looking for the sunstone. Right, right there. It's like right in the middle of this little, little thing, huh? Yeah, maybe, yeah. All right, um. Do my best to walk perfectly straight. Hopefully I align with it shortly, huh? Sunstone? Sunstone. I feel like it should be on this hill. This would be the perfect place for it. It's not that over there. I've been over there a million times. It's more, I know the stones are more exact because they're like carved stones. All the spires I'm seeing have been a little like naturally occurring, you can tell. Um, we're over here again, I've been over here many times. <clears throat> Alright, where am I at now? Let's see, I'm at like the very tip of this thing, kind of. It's supposed to be right around here. I may, I may look it up, just for the sake of not boring you guys to death. I always hate to do it, but I also hate, hate to do this. Mm. Whoa, buddy. Die. Oh, I feel so bad. I genuinely feel so bad killing those things. Um, shoot. All right, let me look it up. All right, I found it. It's on this big barren hill over here and the sun is out. So what, are, what does old Avar have to do here? Go to the west and free the warm sun from the halls of Penumbra. I remember that. Oh, 
Falls of Penumbra. Okay, let's go in precisely west. The Halls of Penumbra. I don't know if I've discovered that yet. I remember, I remember from the story, but I don't think I... Oh, there's this little path here. Let's, let's follow the path. Halls, the halls. This is the way back to the fort, isn't it? Maybe it isn't over here. Oh no, it looks like it just goes straight across. Have you seen the hall? A lot of guys over there, jeez. Halls of Boomerang? I don't think so, this doesn't strike me as a... Okay. I stand corrected. You won't be standing at all. Boogers, boogers, fiend. Why are there always chicks? Are they supposed to always be chicks? I haven't seen a single like guy barbarian yet. Interesting. I mean, I'm all for it, you know. Uh, I wish they wouldn't beat me up. Some people are into that, but you know, little James Blair. I can't see anything. Um. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, this is, I was supposed to not be able to see anything. I remember it from the story, yeah. It is completely devoid of light. What did he do? He kept, he just kept walking until he saw a light. But, you know, in the story it was cool and this is just gonna be kind of annoying. There's sing for us somewhere back at the top. Lord, have mercy, this is, okay. Okay, I see now, my eyes are adjusting a little bit. This is weird looking, man. Ew. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, things are not loading well in here. It seems like the frame rate dropped a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't look at it. We're not supposed to see it anyway, so just imagine. Oh, we can't see nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, drugger. I sneak to you to retain my fatigue. So when I get to you, I will stab at thee. <clears throat> and the drugger in this are so creepy because they're just, they're not human at all. It's like, it's not even a trace of human in them. It's like dead Martians or something. They're just straight up Daedric. Okay, the, the glow, the light, I see, do I? Do I see a faint glow? Fans decide. Do I see a glow or don't I? I see more drugger, yay. To my surprise, imagine my shock. <clears throat> oh, he's kicking me? He's not a ninja. He can't kick me, he's like a zombie. I've never seen a zombie kick. That's so weird, because they're, they're zombies. They can barely walk on their own, let alone do gymnastics and martial arts. Okay, am I at? Whoa! The frame rate is like so wacky right now. It looks like that stylistic thing they've been doing in animated movies where it almost looks like you're turning the pages of a comic book or something really fast. <laughs> it's a cool, it's a cool stylistic choice here at the frame rate. Nothing, nothing is the matter. Stop, dude, holy crap. No, where did you come from? This is not fair. Let me just draw my blade. God damn it. Let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just. This thing is George Bush quote, you guys know that one? Let me just, let me just, let me just. Uh, stop, 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 you bullets. So, oh, oh, I'm so annoyed with you. I, I'm so annoyed right now. Stop, how are you beating the crap out of me? It's just one random dude. All right, that was insane. Yes, but I can rest when enemies aren't nearby, which is over here, and it's over there, and it's over here, and it's over here, and it's, and it's, Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it, you serious? How far back do I? There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, I know I probably should, I don't have any restore your journeyman hammers or whatever, but I really need to get on that soon after this. After this, guys, don't worry. Uh... 
Everything's in working condition, just not very good. Right. They didn't say anything about the drugger in Avar's story. I think he heard beasts, but he didn't have to slay them. Right? I don't, I don't remember that. I certainly didn't include that in my little retelling of it. <laughs> okay, stop! Stop! He didn't have to do anything, right? He just... He just kept walking. Let's double check the tale. Let me tell my tale. Let me read my tale. The Halls of Penumbra. The Halls of Penumbra. The, the greedy man. You of the skull. The greedy man. I cannot go. I will go. Hear me out. Travel west. Travel east. Travel north. Travel south. The water stone. The earth stone. The gift of the earth. The sun burned him. Wait, was this it? The sun burned him in trouble. In trouble on the, to the beast rock. Okay, so I'm doing a metal order now. Oops. But less of tree spirits. Oh, yeah, this stuff gets weird. I don't. I hope I don't have to redo all of this. The sun would burn. Okay, so this is actually, this is pretty far into the tale. I hope that doesn't, I can't imagine that would screw anything up if I do it out of order. Avar walked west, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I was wondering where the air inside was thick and heavy and he could see no farther than that at the end of his arm. That's for sure. Still, he felt his way along the walls, as am I, though he heard the shuffling of feet. Yeah, I'm getting torn apart by these things. I knew that this place felt un held the unholy beast that would tear his flesh and he'd eat his bones. For hours he crept along until he saw a faint glow. Yeah, okay, so we just... Plucked the flaming eye from one of the holy unholy beasts and threw it. The... Okay, so how's that gonna transfer to the... Oh God, now I can't see anymore. My eyes have to adjust. How's that gonna transfer to the gameplay? Because <laughs> in the, the music one... Oh, I hope I'm going the right way. I really can't see anything. Do I have a dead drugger in my way? I don't know. Anyway, in the music one, in the story, he banged his mace against the floor or whatever, but in the game, I, like, clicked on the stalagmites. Uh, and you can't throw things. So what am I just going to, like... I bet you I'm just going to add the eye to my inventory, and then I'm going to click on the sheet of ice and, like, put the eye in the ice, right? It's going to be something like that. Here we go, here we go. I wish, man, this is like the one time in these games where you actually do need a torch or something. Holy micro! And I'm hoping I'm gonna see a drugger that has like an obviously different eye. I mean, I know they have like glowing red eyes, but that can't, that can't count. Or does it? Should I be searching these guys? That's Grave Charles, it's not Eyeball. Hmm. I hope I wasn't supposed to be searching each one of them for a specific item. God, that kick is so weird. I don't like the kick. Because it, it makes it feel like they're still like sentient. Yeah, it's grave tar, okay. What is this? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, nice. This is someone's little stash back here. I'm glad I found this. I don't see a white light, but I see something better. Cash money. Scuffle. I don't know what that is. Another sack. You thought you could get away from me. I actually don't want any of that. Worn chest, nothing. Let's see if my skills are sufficient. Okay. Anyway, here I go. Where is that white ice sheet? glow, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's look at the local map here. That was a dead end. Okay, I should have been using this map all along. Oh, there's different levels to this? Why would you do that? What kind of a meanie pants? Let's put multiple levels to the cave you can't see Jack in. Or Steve or Tim or anyone else for that matter. Can I go forward? I feel like I'm running into a wall here. I'm just gonna trust the, I, I can't see anything, but I'm just gonna trust the, uh, 
Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Why did you not attack me? That's even worse. They have him sitting idly in the dark there. It's like the naked people in uh, Hereditary. They're just like standing silently and you barely ever see them. Now, if you guys haven't seen that movie, when you watch it, you'll be looking around for the naked people. They're there. <gasps> As is he. <clears throat> God, it's a great movie. Go check, it's a great, uh, great Halloween spook. Go check that out for October if you haven't seen it yet. That's a great movie to show to someone. Like once you've seen it, showing it to other people for the first time and getting the reaction, there's, there's nothing better than a movie like that. All right, here we are. What the? What is that? I can't do that. That's above my pay grade, sir. Seriously, what is that? Is that the thing that's gonna have the flaming eye? Goes nothing. Yeah. Yep. Nothing about the giant beast. You have nothing written down about this abomination. What the? What is this? In Avar's story, he just plucked the eye. Like, oh, hello. There goes your eye. There was nothing about a ooh, a great struggle with the beast. You just can I just? What, what are you? This is like genuinely a frightening creature. What the hell is this? The what? I can't I can't tell what his name is. Flaming Eye of the Light Keeper. That's so creepy. And then I bet you I just Yeah, okay. At least it says you throw it. Okay, I'm waiting for the blinding light. Ah that wasn't that bad. Is there anything cool in here? Any loot? Any loot? No? Okay, whatever. And now, oh no, this place is all lit up and I can see this disgusting thing. Actually, it's even harder to see him. Dave Grohl, that was his name. <laughs> there he lies after whatever scandal recently happened with him. I don't, I don't really care. But that's what's become of Dave Grohl. All right. Kinda of cozy now though. Minus the dead drugger everywhere. Okay, we're back here. I didn't miss anything, did I? It's a cool concept though. I, lo I love, I mean, I said earlier, but this story is so cool because it really does feel like an ancient, an ancient tale. Like uh, objectifying all these um, elements. You know, like freeing light is just such a cool, such a cool concept. It really does feel like an ancient, ancient Greek story. And I, I love that stuff. One of my, one of my favorite classes in, uh, in college was a history of literature class where we read a lot of that type of stuff. And, uh, okay, I'm down here again. That's okay. All right, R2, we need to be going up. But yeah, it was one of my, one of my favorite classes was reading all those old, old tales. And even, you know, Christianity with God making earth in seven days and he adds like a different thing each day. There's all, it's always, it's always like that. It's always the numbered, numbered things. On the first day I pooped, on the second day I peed. But on the third day, there was diarrhea. Um, all right, we're getting there. Just a straight shot, yes. The long and winding road. And now I just go straight east to get back to the sunstone. I bet you the sunstone is going to be yellow. Each one of these stones, I like it because they're kind of like Power Ranger colors. And I like it when there's different things and they're all a different color because I'm eight years old. But um, sunstone's got to be yellow, right? You'll hear. That was such a scary thing. They just really... It's, uh, it's unusual that they just throw in like a a custom beastie for one of these quests. And there it was, and it was the most frightening, it was kind of like a fish, what would you call that thing? It was kind of like a creature from the Black Lagoon, but bigger and it was grosser. I don't know what it was supposed to be. All right, here we go. The Sunstrong. At least this one was pretty straightforward. I mean, literally, the cave I had to go to was straight forward. Here we go. 
Yes, yes, and it's yellow, kind of, yeah, it's like a flame. Nice. Oh, look how beautiful this is. The sun is out. The sunstone is brimming with life and light. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. All right, well, that one was pretty good, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're gonna stick to the plan. Uh, next time I'm going to, let's see, what am I gonna do next time? Whatever is above us right now. I'm gonna go fish it. Um, Locations of the stones. So I'll do the tree stone, and the bee stone, and the wind stone, and then we'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, game seems to be running a little bit better. I don't know what that was earlier with the when I was just kind of walking into the air. We're walking in the air. It's also a great song. Um, okay, thank you to the patrons, the subscribers, everyone who watches. If you guys have any tips and tricks, I do read them. I know I've seen a lot that I, I haven't acted out on just because I'm lazy. There's been like someone. I hate how I have this little flippy hair there. All right, um, <laughs> there's people have been saying um, there was some item I could get that would help me be not detected by all the wildebeests out in the uh, open world here, but I was too lazy to go get it. But um, I do I do read the comments, so I want you to know that. So, um, yeah, any tips or tricks, they're welcome. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys. See you later. Congratulations! You found the secret end of the video video. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that we finally have a thank you button right down here. That heart, you can send a one-time donation if you think we're funny enough. Or if you want to go the extra mile, over here we have a join button where you can become a monthly member. There's three different tiers you can choose from, all with their own benefits and perks. And you will start working your way up through the ranks of the Imperial Arena. From Pit Dog to Grand Champion. Thanks guys, see you later.